OK, finalist number three has been playing the piano from a very young age. He's the only man left standing in the competition. Actually, he's not standing, he's playing the piano, he's sick. Hey, I'm JT McNamara and I'm 11 years old. The best thing so far is performing and, and showing people at home uh, me playing. It's been so fun throughout all the rounds. My mentor is Mickey Joe Hart and he's really, really nice. He's helped me with my pieces and they've improved a lot. He's just really great. When I'm not playing the piano or doing music, I love playing football. Man United, they're my favourite team. Actually, my drama teacher, she told me to enter this because uh, I hadn't a clue about what Star Search was since she told me to enter it. And I've gotten so far, so I just want to thank her. The best thing I won so far was the under-15s in Sutton Park. But if I won Star Search, it would be an even better team. I'm a bit nervous, but like, I'm really way more excited. Well, if I win Star Search, I'll be so happy and I and I think I might go to Florida with my family, maybe a few of my friends. In 10 years' time, I want to be a piano player and I want loads of people to look at me playing piano. Now here he is performing Rakes of Mozart on the piano from County Meath, it's JJ McNamara. of how tough your task is going to be now. What did you think? Oh, JJ, what a great kid you are. I mean, you just looked like you were thoroughly enjoying yourself, and that came across to me. And your technique for an 11-year-old, I think, is superb. And so I'm going to look forward to watching you play professionally in 10 years' time. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, Jonathan, what did you make of JJ's performance? I thought, JJ, you were technically brilliant and clearly enjoying yourself, but I'd love to, um, I'd love to actually see you expressing yourself, your, your amazing personality that I saw before through your playing uh, of the piano, and I'd love to see that. But um, you were amazing and well done. Oh, I think he is a great dresser. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's hear it for JJ, ladies and gentlemen. Well done, JJ. Come on, well done. Well done, JJ. Well done, JJ. And once again, let's go backstage to Rob in the green room to see how JJ and his mentor feel his performance went. Rob. 
Come and join us here, JJ. JJ McNamara. So, were you happy with that, JJ? Oh, yeah, I think it went really well. Were you nervous in the beginning, tell us? Oh, yeah, I was really nervous, but when I got into the piece, it was just really exciting and fun. Well, you want us to have seen everybody here in the green room. They were like, what were you like? <laughs> Do your fingers ever start running away with you when you're going that fast? They start going... <laughs> yes, all the time. <laughs> and, Mickey, what did you think of the comments from the judges? Oh, great. I mean, generally, I know I, I know what Jonathan's come from in a way, but uh, it's very hard, you know, as he says, for, for JJ to try and communicate because there's a big piano in front of him. And I thought he'd done a fantastic job of communicating the piece, you know, and um, I think he just has to continue doing what he'd done and uh, the, the odd smile he breaks into. You know, there's an intensity in that piece and you, it's very hard to sometimes, you know, be all things to all people, but... Listen, he done a fantastic job. You know, his talent will carry him through. Well, there you go. It seems like everybody's happy. The only thing is, I can't remember what his name is. What's your name again? It's JJ McMurray. <laughs> <laughs> it is JJ. Cheers, Rob.